What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. So, good news for the sport of boxing. It looks like Adrian Broner has stated publicly that he is open to facing Marcos Maidana after the Malinaji fight. He expects to win and beat Malinaji, but we will see. That fight's coming up next week. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Um, again, I don't understand why some of you guys flip-flop. Some of you guys were bashing the fight when it first was announced, and with all the trash talking and stuff, um, looks like some people are coming around. I, I see this being a good match. If you know anything about the sport of boxing, you will know that contrast and styles can be everything. Styles make fights. And Paula Malinaji is um, a style that we haven't seen Broner fight all too often. And especially from a bigger guy. Some people complain that Broner only fought guys smaller than him. People like Escobedo and whoever else. Um, Eloy Perez. Now this is actually a guy who's two divisions higher in a higher weight class. He's not the heaviest puncher. We all know Pauli Malignaggi is not the big puncher, but he has an excellent jab. Um, and he's a slick fighter. So I'm really anxious to see how um, Broner looks against a slick fighter and a seasoned fighter like Pauli Malignaggi and a fighter who's right around the same size as him or if not bigger. I don't. I mean, I don't know exactly. I think Pauli might have like an inch on him, um, but he's been fighting bigger dudes um Pauly has definitely fought more bigger fighters I guess you could say throughout his career people like Miguel Cotos and Amir Khan Amir Khan is really has like an Oscar De La Hoya type of frame um so it'd be interesting to see how Broner does it uh, how he steps up to this challenge and what Malinaji with his boxing skills and his jab what he can really do people get this um light puncher thing misconstrued there's a lot of people who aren't known for devastating punching power but through an accumulation of punches it's still leather scraping grazing hitting your face um timothy bradley he's a fighter with not much punching power his ko ratio supports that um when you see him in the ring it supports that but if you fight him uh if you watch the fight with him and ruslan provotnikov by the end of the fight, through concentrated boxing and landing accurate shots, his face, Ruslan Provotnikov's face, was starting to bust up. His eye, Freddie Roach was considering stop it, stopping in the fight. And this is, again, coming from a, a lighter puncher. Same thing with Lamont Peterson. Contrary to many people's beliefs, Lamont Peterson is not a heavy-handed puncher. He's more of a wear-you-down, durable fighter with boxing skills and a solid defense. Um... He did just lose against Matisse, but in his in his fights, you'll notice he, he just kind of wears you down, but it's not like Lucas Matisse, raw, one punch, you're out of there, Mike Dallas type of punching power, or Gennady Golovkin. There's a lot of fighters that are very, relatively low on the, the punching power scale, and um, Pauli Malignaggi is definitely one of them, but at the same time, you don't have to have all the punching power in the world to break somebody down. So I'm anxious for this fight. Broner did mention that he's open to face Maidana. Um, that's, that's a good fight. I, I mean, I like a fight. My, Marcus Maidana, he always comes, he always brings it. He's tough. Um, he looks like he's improving with the tutelage of Robert Garcia. He's using his jab. He's more patient and not just punching himself out. And it looks, looks like Garcia is trying to improve his overall boxing technique. I still think Broner beats Maidana. I think a lot of people might perhaps um, overrate Maidana. And trust me, I, I really like Marcus Maidana. But if you look at who he's struggled with and who he's had problems, people like Devin Alexander, Amir Khan, he had, even though he gave Khan problems, um, Devin Alexander really just outboxed him. So judging by what I see in the Pauli Malignaggi fight, if Broner's power translates and actually carries up, and makes him, and he still has like the type of punching power that he's had in the lower weight divisions at 130, 135. Then I don't see Maidana beating Broner, and that's just my opinion. He has an equalizer. Anytime you're in there with a guy with raw power, I mean, he does have the power. So we haven't really seen Broner's ten, chin tested. Um, so if, if Broner has a soft chin, Maidana definitely has the equalizer for it. Um, but Historically, Maidana has struggled with people that um, fight similar or have some of the skills that Broner is really good at. And that's um, just outboxing, outthinking, 
speed, and that kind of thing. Marcos Maidana is usually slower than um, some of the elite names that he's fought. People like Amir Khan and, and that kind of thing. Josecito Lopez versus Maidana, good fight. But again, Josecito is, he's just a kind of like a slugger with boxing skills, but he he switches back and forth. It's like double dutch. I mean, you never know. Um, if Sometimes he boxes more, and then sometimes he bangs. It's kind of like Mike Alvarado. Mike Alvarado can box, but he can brawl. But at heart, I think he's a brawler. I think his mentality is to always go back into that. So realistically, Josecito's mentality and his competitive streak is what got him knocked out against Marcos Maidana, in my opinion. Just having um, cojones and going for the gusto and putting it all on the line, that's the way he fights. He just fights like that, even though he does have boxing skills. Um, and that kind of plays into Marcos Maidana, the bigger fighter, the fighter who's fought at 147 more times. He fought, Josito only fought at 147 one time against Victor Ortiz, and then he moved up to 154. So, Josecito did what he did. He made it a good fight. Um, I would be really anxious to see Broner, if he gets past Malinaji, um, face a puncher like Maidana because this is really going to be, I think, if if the fights happen in that order, let's say Broner defeats Malinaji, this is uh, really good for his legacy, in my opinion, because we're seeing him move up in weight. We're seeing him stay up at in a higher weight class, 147. There's a lot of competition out there. So if he beats Malinaji, he's beating a seasoned veteran and somebody who's slick with the excellent jab and actual boxing um, credentials and boxing technical ability. He's a Paulie Malinaji is a thinker. I don't know what you guys watch, but he's a thinker in the ring. So if he can beat Paulie Malinaji, a slick fighter, and then fight a slugger, someone who's heavy-handed and is just overall a tough, tough customer with punching power, like Marcos Maidana, if Broner beats those two people, I mean, he's definitely moving himself up and up higher on the pound-for-pound pound list. And, if, I mean, if he loses to someone like Maidana, then um, he still has options. He can go back down and wait and fight some of the guys at 140 if they haven't moved up already to welterweight. Um, he said he could make 135 still. So, I mean, he still has options, win or lose. I really like Broner and Maidana if he can get past Malinaji, but... Until then, we'll just see what Broner looks like against Malinaji at his first welterweight performance. Let me know what you guys think, Broner Malinaji, and what do you guys think about Broner facing Maidana. To end, Broner did say this, I didn't see Maidana's win over Lopez, but I heard he did get a victory. I didn't see it, but Maidana is Maidana. Everybody knows what Maidana brings to the table, but we are worrying about Pauli Malinaji right now. If the best fight for Adrian Broner after this fight is Maidana, then Maidana will get it. So... He's game, and this is what some people complained about, saying he doesn't fight, he fights bums or people smaller. Marcos Maidana is, is a tough customer for anybody, so I'd love to see that fight. Let me know what you guys think of this fight, Broner versus Maidana, and till next video, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego, signing off.